Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to configure Conference Bridge within Microsoft Teams. Conferencing bridges allow users to dial into meetings through their phones. When configuring audio conferencing in your Office 365 environment, you will receive phone numbers for your users from what is called an audio conferencing bridge. These phone numbers are used when the user dial into a meeting. As an admin, you can choose to continue using the default settings for your conference bridge or you can change the phone numbers and other settings. However, you must first decide if you need to add a new conferencing bridge number. Which number should you use by default? If you need to modify the bridge settings and whether you must port numbers to use with audio conferencing. Let's go and explore how to add additional conference bridges in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. So I'm in my Teams Admin Center. On the left hand navigation pane, select Meetings and then select Conference Bridges. On the Conference Bridges page, this is where you can see all the available Conference Bridge number available. If you would like to add a new toll free number, you can click on Add and select a toll free number or a toll number. To define a default conference bridge, all you have to do is select a number and make this a default by selecting this tick box. If I want to change another default, if you, if you notice, if I change it to Moscow Russia, I can set as a default by going into set as a default. You can configure conference bridge settings in Teams Admin Center by going into bridge settings. This is where you would be able to add and modify bridge settings details for meeting entry and exit notification, entry exit announcement type, ask caller to record their names before joining the meeting, pin length, etc. Now that we have learned about conferencing bridge settings, in the next lesson, let's go and explore how to manage meeting policies and settings.